What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix the Dev Error 6164 when launching Call of Duty Warzone. It's a pretty simple one to fix with a couple of simple solutions, though hopefully you will find your answer in this video. Otherwise, I'd recommend checking the comments down below because if you do find an alternative fix for this issue, make sure to leave a comment down below to help other people. So anyways, let's get started. Before we get into verifying or doing anything with that game files, if you're struggling to launch your game, the first thing that you should do is hold start, press R to bring up the run dialog box, and then type in documents as such and hit enter. Otherwise, try percentage user profile, percentage forward slash or backslash documents. This should open up your documents folder. Inside of here, you should find Call of Duty Modern Warfare and inside of it, you'll find a players folder. This is the folder with all of your configs and everything inside of it. Yes, there's a save game in it, but I'm pretty sure that this is just a file that's downloaded and saved on the cloud. Regardless of whether it is or isn't, to make sure that we don't lose any progress in anything and all we really do is wipe and reset our config, all we're gonna do instead of deleting this folder is simply rename it by adding a hyphen old or something similar to the name. Now, of course, I already have one, so I'll call it, say, old2. And from here, all you have to do is try and fire up Call of Duty Warzone once again, and this time things should work a bit better. If you are struggling to open it, it should just work this time. Let's go ahead and try it and see if it regens all of our config files from the start. Of course, the resolution may be a bit weird and things may not be exactly as you remember them, but that's simply because we reset the config in its entirety. If you change something or the game updated and accidentally changed something that prevents you from launching it, this should hopefully fix it as your settings will be regenerated from absolutely nothing. If we peek inside of our documents, you can see the players folder over here has regenerated. Even though it's currently empty, files will start populating in here automatically as the game starts up and configs are being played around with. Don't know why the screen was green there, but I'm getting the first launch animation now. I'm pretty sure this is something that I asked it to skip as I'm currently unable to. But regardless, we get to accept the terms of service, mess around with our audio quality, set up everything as we did before, and eventually you'll be dropped back into your main menu with everything working as expected. Now, of course, you can try restoring the original config files now that you've reached this point in the hopes that things will work properly. Otherwise, if you're still having issues, try clearing that folder once again so the players folder is completely empty or non-existent. And then inside of battle.net, simply click on Call of Duty Warzone, click the options button, and then click scan and repair. This will scan through all of the files on your PC and compare them to the server's version. And if anything mismatches, then it will re-download and set them up again on your computer. This is a lot faster than actually uninstalling and reinstalling the game and often requires much smaller downloads. But of course you could be downloading anything from two megabytes to a couple of gigabytes if files are corrupt for some reason or another. Regardless when it's done, if your player's folder is empty, then when the game is next launched up and the config regenerates itself once again, things should be working perfectly as you'd hope. Of course, you'll just have to go through and set up your config once again, all your keybinds and the rest, but after that, you should be able to play the game. Now, of course, if for some reason you're still not able to launch up the game, the best thing that you can do from here is common fixes, like making sure that Windows is up to date, your GPU driver is up to date, and of course, you've done a full reboot after doing all of those. On top of that, if you're using custom antivirus software, try temporarily disabling it as sometimes they may get a bit too invasive and stop certain programs from working or accessing certain files. On top of that, if you suspect that it may be your graphics driver, you can try using a program like Display Driver Uninstaller, DDU, Hopefully I'll have a description down below. Basically, you'll completely uninstall your graphics driver and reinstall it from scratch. I know a couple of my friends had some crazy FPS issues when they completely uninstalled and reinstalled their graphics driver from scratch. Those were fixed. So that is a solution that you can attempt here. On top of that, if you're using a desktop, make sure that all of the hardware, especially the RAM, is properly seated in your computer. And of course, if you're doing any overclocks or you've recently applied overclocks, try dropping it down a bit if you think that could be causing an issue. On top of that, try disabling overlays like the Discord overlay, Steam overlay, and other things that could be interacting with your game. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully I've given you enough tips to get your game fixed. And of course, if you find a different solution, make sure to leave it down in the comments below as you'll likely end up helping someone else. Thank you for watching. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.